Hello everyone. Um, good evening. My name is Bayro Abdel Jalil Adam. I'm a third medical student from Ternopil National Medical University in Ukraine. I'm currently in Poland. Uh, by the grace of God, we are able to make it. We have a friend here that was able to help us and then they hosted us in their own house. The Polish people are very helpful to all the people that are immigrating into Poland. So I would want to address some issues in case if anyone is watching this video, in case you can just share it and it will help a lot of people. First is for people that have been stuck in Ukraine. It's it's a very, very bad situation for everyone that is there. People that are in cities that can hardly go out of those cities. We still know there is a very huge number of students that are still stuck there. And there is almost next to nothing that anyone can do. The only easiest way you can get out of that place is to pay as much as you can pay and then get a taxi man that can just drive you out of that place. I'm sure everyone have seen the pictures. I'm sure everyone have seen the train, the military. Everybody is becoming brutal. Everybody wants to leave the country. They are choosing women and children first as priority, but still they have to choose their people as well. We need to get people. We need to get people into Ukraine to help everyone that is still there. Secondly, people that are still at the border. One of the biggest mistake we did was most of us went to the biggest border, which is Meduka, and the higher the number of people there, the higher the problem that we are going to have. So if you're already there, just try to get in. If the Nigerian embassy or anyone can be able to send someone inside, because once you have someone that is picking you, then you are part of the priorities. They'll let you go in easily. We have thousand or five hundred or more than that of our students waiting there. But if they take children and women, and then they take few people from the Ukrainian side, and then they take those that have people that are already there to pick them up. But if you're just there, they'll just look at you guys and then pick two to three people, because it seems like nobody actually cares about you. If you have someone that is going there to pick you up, if you can get people getting into that border, then we'll, we'll be able to help these people, because we have seen a lot of people that came late, but they went in because they had people picking them up. So I will mention two borders here, which are the easiest and simplest due to even though a lot of people have suffered, have suffered, if you can actually make it to Lviv and then get a train, get a taxi, get a taxi to one of these borders. The first one is uh, Uhuruniv. You can actually get there. It's one of the easiest one that anyone is getting in. They help you, they feed you even if you're staying outside and they get you a bus that can take you to Poland itself. You don't have to walk an each. And then the other one is Hurushiv, which is the one I used. I worked for like more than two hours, but still you have to wait and then they have to choose you guys. Though there is a little bit of discrimination to some extent, but like, yeah, that's what we have now. You just have to be very patient. So Hurunif and then Hurushiv. These are two borders that you should go to. If you have not been to any border, do not go to Meduka. It's the largest border. Everybody around Ukraine comes there. So please try to avoid it. Another thing is if you are actually coming into Poland, you should know, you should be able to make calls. Do not follow everyone that you see because there are issues of trafficking. This is the time that people actually traffic people a lot. You can easily get into wrong hands. So please be very, very wary. Don't be so desperate that you want to get in. As soon as you get in, just calm yourself down and try to know whoever it is that you are. Be very, very vigilant. They are going to steal your money. People are going to traffic you and it will be worse for you. They don't even change Ukrainian money anymore. So if you have any cash in you, which is Ukrainian, they are not going to change it for you. I'm heading back to the border. I have cousins, sisters, brothers. We have a lot of students that are coming in. I'll try to see if we go and help them in the border that is closest to me here, which is either Meduka or the Uhurunif or the Hurushif, whichever it is that I can go. If there's any help that anyone would want to do, it will go a very long way. And thank you guys.